Do batteries actually store electricity? So this is a common misconception, but really what is happening inside of a battery is chemical reaction. So it's chemical energy that is stored in a battery. It doesn't become electricity until it interacts with conductors and there's an outside circuit. Electricity is a function of an interaction between charged particles that we can use a force, an EMF or the electromotive force to move current through a conductor. In as far as we are talking about electricity as it relates to electricians and wires, you know, for biologists, we could say electricity is a different thing. For chemists, we could say it's a different thing, but we're talking about conductors and the conductors need to be introduced to a battery for electricity to start working or for electrical energy to be transferred. So let's look at what a battery actually does, how it works on the inside. So if we have a battery that is not charged, you've just got a solution, there's sulfuric acid. We're gonna say that this is a lead acid battery. So inside of this battery, we've got an electrolyte solution that is sulfuric acid. So that is H2SO4. We've got two lead electrodes. One of them is an anode, one of them is a cathode. So you've got a positive and a negative. The only difference between these two electrodes, they're both lead, but one of them is coated with a lead dioxide. So it's got this extra dioxide associated with it, which makes one of them attract uh, negative electrical charges and it makes the other one repel negative electric charges. So as we add an AC power source, alternating current to charge this battery, to get it to have a difference of potential, we need to stack a bunch of negatives on one side and a bunch of positives on the other side. So what happens is this PVO2 um, and the sulfuric acid mix together and the PV and the sulfuric acid mix together and we move our SO4 over, but the, the, the uh, dihydrogen stays in the middle. We lose an O2 over here, so we end up with H2O2, which is just two H2Os. So we end up with water in the middle during this chemical reaction, and we end up with PVSO4 on both of the leads. And um, that's how we can generate charges. That PVSO4 on each side is going to attract charges and they're gonna build up on each one of these and the solution in the middle is gonna to change to water. So we can see right here, we have water H2O left over after the PVSO4 has uh, changed onto each side, but that is a chemical reaction that's happening. It's purely introducing chemicals to other chemicals. And because of that, we do add electric current externally. We take a AC power source and we bring electrical energy to a battery to change the chemical composition on the inside. But we're taking an external electrical energy and we're transferring it into an internal chemical energy. There's no electrical energy inside this battery. It's just chemical energy. Now, anytime we're doing anything with electrical, we need to understand that how electricity works is we're taking one kind of energy that is external from a circuit, and then we're taking a circuit and introducing it to that energy, and it's transferring from that kind of energy into a different kind of energy, electrical energy. It's still the same energy, it's just being transformed from one type to another type. And then through the conductors, as we pass down, we're converting the electrical energy into a load, let's say like a heating element inside of a toaster. That heating element's gonna give off a glow. So some of that energy is going to be changed from electrical energy into light energy and heat energy. The light energy, you can see visible light coming off of it. So there's photons coming off. So we're transferring from electrical energy into light energy or in the heat energy because you're going to be able to feel heat radiating off of that as well. So the electricity portion of everything, there's no electricity stored in a chemical solution inside of the battery. Inside of the battery, it's just chemicals. And same thing with a generator at a utility company. We just have this huge spinning magnet. So we've got mechanical energy in this mechanical device that we introduce conductors to and then we take that mechanical energy and transform it into electrical energy that's going down conductors. And when we get to the other side and we turn a fan on in the house, we take the electrical energy and convert that into mechanical energy again to make a fan start moving. So it's constantly just transforming from one kind of energy uh, to another kind of energy. Now I will state that 
Once you start looking into the definition of electricity, you'll realize there's a lot of textbooks out there, a lot of like higher level, Duke University, Harvard, things like that. Uh, and you know, high school textbooks, other college textbooks, lit papers by scientists, particle physics that write, uh, phys particle physicists that write books. They all describe electricity as a different thing. And a lot of them are contradictory. A lot of them are like, well, it's the quanta of charge in a system, or some of them are like, well, it's just this phenomenon, or well, it's energy, electricity is energy. And it's like, nah, it can't be all these kind of things because some of these things actually contradict one another. So it's like, what are we really talking about when we say electricity? I think the best thing to understand electricity is the interaction of charged particles. That's it. Like when you got negative particles, positive particles, next to each other it forms an electric field and it allows a weird thing to happen. If they're both positives, they're going to repel each other. If they're one of those positive and then one's negative, they're going to attract each other. That phenomenon of being able to attract and repel because you have an electrical charge, that's the electricity part of that. So the semantical side of this is that like, yeah, inside of batteries, we have negative and positive charges. And even through the chemical reaction, we still have those charges doing something. So in essence, you could say that it's still electrical in nature and electricity is stored inside of it. But what we're talking about is energy is stored inside of a battery. It's not electrical energy that's stored inside of a battery. It's electrical energy that's used to charge the chemical energy inside of the battery. And then it's chemical energy that is transformed into an exterior circuit that goes out through conductors and changes into electrical energy. But the electrical part is exterior outside of the battery. So hope that helped clear some things up or maybe even confuse you and made you sit and ponder some more. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I love you crazy people. I'll see you in the next one.